Let's talk about one of the major pain points when it comes to vapor honing, and that's actually how to rid your parts of abrasive after you finish blasting. Let's talk about that. So if you guys are planning on blasting, restoring, prepping anything, such as actually, this will work. This engine head, you know how important it can be to make sure that you get all of the abrasive out of it. Because you know if you were to leave abrasive in this, it would of course try and get in every little nook and cranny that you don't want it. And it can cause some, some serious issues. So if you guys are trying to get the abrasive out of anything like this, the number one thing we recommend, if it's something smaller and you're, you're not really too worried about it, is to just rinse the part down really well with our internal rinse, pull it out, continue to rinse it, and when you guys think that you've rinsed it enough, rinse it again. It might be best to actually rinse it, dry it, rinse it, dry it. That's usually when I find the most abrasive. And also something that I like to do is when you're finished um, drying it, let it sit for a little bit, let it dry completely out, then come back, blow it off, rinse it again, and then dry it again. Because abrasive is really good at sticking in areas that you don't want it to, and so making sure that you are going through that part thoroughly is the best thing that you can do. So the next trick you guys can actually employ to help rid your parts of abrasive is a dip tank. So we still suggest rinsing the parts down really well inside your cabinet and also maybe giving them a rinse off before you put them in the dip tank. But to explain what a dip tank is, it's essentially just a tub with water in it and all you're gonna wanna do is, for example, if you were using this part, put it inside of there and slosh it around. What that's gonna do is help put that abrasive, suspend it in the water and pull it out of your part. It is, a, it is a very good way of actually getting abrasive out of those small passageways and little areas that when you're just rinsing it down, you're actually pushing it back into. So it does work really well for getting abrasive out of your parts. Another tool that you guys can actually use to help rid your parts of that abrasive is an ultrasonic cleaner. That high vibration that's gonna be caused by the ultrasonic cleaner is actually very good at dislodging any abrasive that you have inside of your parts. And it's gonna help suspend it basically like it would in a dip tank and help it settle out of your part. Um, we know that they're more expensive, but they work about as well as a dip tank does and it's something that's hands off so you guys can increase your actual rate at which you're processing parts. Another excellent tool that we suggest for you guys to use is our Hydro Blast. Um, it blasts at around 1700 PSI and it's strictly water. So any abrasive that's left on your part, it's gonna be able to knock that right out of there and leave you with a perfectly clean part. It does have a filtering system, that way when you're knocking that abrasive out of your part, it should catch it. And it's a great way to rid your part of abrasive after you finish blasting. Again, we do suggest pre-cleaning because any abrasive, you, any abrasive that you can get off by just quickly rinsing on the part needs to be taken off before it's put in the Hydro Blast, but the Hydro Blast is a great option to get abrasive out of your parts. The last option that I have for you guys is actually something that we found out about more recently, and that is to use a vibratory tank. Now, it's gonna give you similar, similar results to the dip tank and the ultrasonic cleaner, but in my opinion, it's a little bit more aggressive, and so therefore it works a little bit better but you just simply put the part in and it's another hands-free option. Um, we've used the Mr. Deburr and it worked very well for us, but this, like I said, it's, it's, it's not specifically made to get abrasive out of parts, it's just something that we found works very well. So if you guys have any other questions or any other actual video ideas or anything, leave it in the comments below. If you guys are curious about vapor honing or are ready to get these excellent results in your shop today, you can call us at 828-202-5563. We'll be happy to help you out. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And also check out the other videos on our channel where we post great content just like this every day. Again, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and peace.